What is up guys? It's a wine turtle and today we are doing something we haven't done in so long We're going back to magic the gathering war of the spark is coming next month Oh man month of May is gonna be absolutely insane. We got war of the spark. We got unbroken unbroken bonds Just so much stuff going on. We got new Yu-Gi-Oh sets coming out uh, Month of May is going to be absolutely crazy looking forward to it. But yeah, um, Nicol Bolas is about to start some Start some stuff on Ravnica, and uh, what a better way to prep than to try to pull Nicol Bolas himself. So we're going to crack open into this 2019 core set, see if we can't get some good pulls. I feel like the prices are on the rise just with all these, especially the Planeswalkers with, uh, you know, there's so much hype around War of the Spark. I'm so excited. Let's get into this opening, guys. Oh man, it's been so long since we've done Magic the Gathering. Really excited to start opening some packs again. I feel like uh, Magic the Gathering, there's a lot, not a lot that goes on in between releases compared to like Pokemon. They have all these different tins and boxes and collection boxes. Yu-Gi-Oh has a lot of different things, uh, different kinds of sets. And compared to Magic where they kind of just, uh, yeah, they have moder modern masters and stuff like that and summer sets. But uh, so we're getting back into Magic. We got 12 packs of Core 2019. I don't remember all the cards in here, but I feel like the the big hits are kind of like Planeswalkers, like Vivian Reed, um, some cool cool rares like uh, Crucible Worlds that we would be happy to get. So we'll go through some of the comments. We got a trusty Pack Beast, a Gearsmith Prodigy, Fire Elemental Classic card, never very good, uh, Oresco Swift Cloth, Greenwood Sentinel. Hired Blade, Talons of Wildwood, Duress, very useful card. Wall of Vines, walls are no good. Marauder's Axe, All right, here we have some Uncommons, <laughs> Suspicious Bookcase, uh, Aerial Engineer, Murder, and then our first one is Metamorphic Alteration. So as far as like good commons and uncommons, I don't think there's really much here. And I feel like that usually is the case for core sets. Core sets I feel like rarely get much love, to be honest. And uh, so we'll go through one more set of the commons. Tormenting Voice, Oresco Swiftclaw again, Dangerwood, Dangerback Basilisk, Infernal Scarring, Rabid Bite, Foreign Sovereign Bite, uh, Havoc's Devils, Thorn Hide Wolves. The thing is like there's just so many like when it comes to like, going through the commons. Aether Tunnel, Rise from the Grave. Dryad Green Seeker, and then here we have their Sigil's Sword of Valoran. All right, so two cards that I'm not familiar with, which probably means they're not that good. All right, for this, we're going to get at least one Mythic card for this opening. At this point, we'll probably just kind of bruise through these, see if there's anything cool. Tolarian Scholar. Um, Mine Rot, pretty nice. Essence Scatters, not bad. Naturalize. Classic card. Um, all right, here we have the Vanguard, Plague Mare, a Horizon Scholar, and then a Valiant Knight. What do we have here? Three, four, or four other knights plus one plus one. All right, it's kind of like a lord. <clears throat> ah, feels good to be opening up magic cards again. Or need to hydrate. Act of Treason. And we can skip through these. Alright. Nightmare's Thirst. Dragon Egg. Regal Blood Lord. And then Sarkhan's Unsealing. Oh, I feel like I haven't heard anything about Sarkhan when it comes to War of the Spark. Is he even there? I feel like everyone's there. Um, if you're interested in Magic the Gathering and you haven't watched some of the stuff with the lore, or if anyone hasn't seen the, the trailer, oh my gosh, that was absolutely amazing. Lincoln Park in the end. That was so cool. Um, and if you haven't learned about the lore, uh, I'm not sure when it started, but they, there's actually quite an interesting story going on. Gigantosaurus. Oh, how, what a creative name. 10-10 for 5. Alright, so I feel like so far we haven't gotten anything of significance. 
Uh, but yeah, if you don't know the lore, go check it out. There's a bunch of different uh, channels that kind of talk about that kind of stuff, and uh, it's a very interesting story. And all the char- there's so many characters uh, at this point, and they're all going to meet on Ravnica. All right, let's see. We got a Rupture Spire, Stitcher Supplier, Herald of Faith, and then a Spit Fame Flame. This is a four damage to target creature for three. Whenever dragons in the battlefield, you may pay fire. If you do, spit fame from your hand or graveyard to hand. Eh, that's feels like punishing fire, but a lot weaker, <laughs> or a lot more expensive for a little bit stronger. All right, we have a millstone. Ooh, that's a pretty classic card. Tiger play for stuff to cards. Oh no, I'm thinking of something else. Volcanic Dragon, the Haster. Declare Dominance. Remorseful Cleric. For 2, 2-1. Two, Flyer. Sacrifice Exile. All cards from target players. Graveyard. Eh, some graveyard hate. But I feel like there's better ones. I think there's a Planeswalker. That'll be in the new set for that has some very good hate. And it's a Planeswalker. Divination. Alright, let's see what we got. Bone to Ash, that is a cool art. Tectonic Rift. Gorgoyle Sentinel. Ooh, alright, our first mythic, and it is a Scape Shift. Sacrifice any number of land, search your library for that many land cards, and put them on the battlefield tapped. Um, so I feel like the useful part there is it doesn't need to be basic land. Uh, however, that's sorcery, and it's pretty expensive. Um, I wonder if that could be useful like in a lands deck, but I don't think that's a big deal. Uh, but we did get a mythic, so I'm happy about that. Would have preferred something a little stronger, maybe a planeswalker, um, but we'll take it. I feel like we should get, I can't remember how many, uh, it's been a while since I opened magic cards, but you should get like three, four mythics, I feel like. Then we have dismissive part. This card's terrible. All right, we have three packs left in our reintroduction to Magic the Gathering. All right, we have an Aether Shield Artificer. I do like artifact stuff. Uh, Fell Specter, Vigilant Bailoff, and then Liliana's Contract. Ah, the Liliana's Contract is an important aspect of the story that oh, if you haven't seen the trailer or if you have seen it and if you're unsure what's going on like Nicol Bolas does have a contract on Liliana so if she doesn't kind of like obey him he can kind of basically like kill her so I, my understanding is that's what's going on in that trailer alright Fountain of Renewal Reclamation Sage not bad Skyride Patrol and then Lena Selfless Champion Lena, not so good champion. All right, on to our last pack. We have a Johnny pack art. Can we pull in the Johnny? All right, for the last pack of this opening, we have a bunch of commons. <laughs> oh, we haven't got a foil. All right, so we have a Psychic Corrosion, Siege Breaker Giant, Poison Tip Archer, and then Thorn Lieutenant. Right here, oh, we get a foil when we complain about it. All right, so um, not that great. A common foil and then a scape shift. Um, there's probably a way to abuse this card, but I'm not sure if this is great, a very good pull. But either way, um, thanks for watching, guys. If you did enjoy the video, or if you want to see more Magic Gathering, or if you're super excited for more of Spark, uh, you can let me know by hitting that like button down below. Um, and uh, yeah, we're getting back into Magic. It feels good, and uh, really excited for War of the Spark. Uh, May is going to be absolutely crazy. Uh, as always, thanks to thanks for all the support from everyone. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm. Uh, that's all we have for today. I'm Awana Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.